Okay, here is our presentation on school shootings. So, uh, we're going to be learning about school shootings today as our final project. So what we have is the definition of a school shooting. Now, the definition of a school shooting is where a, uh, is where a firearm is fired upon an educational institution. And as we all know, school shootings are very bad, so none of this is joking, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, now, here are some reasons on why school shootings are bad, in case you didn't know. And now I'm going to have my friend here step in. Okay, school shootings are bad because metal moving at mock speed is just bad for your anything. And it causes death and injuries. Uh, families and relatives would be worried about your safety while you're at the school and they hear the news about school shootings. And it can cause people not to go to school due to PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. And Merrick, why don't we go do the next slide? For All right, buddy. All right, now we're going to show you what to do in case of a school shooting, because we all know. If you're in a school shooting, bad things could happen. Now we have run, hide, and fight. So our, your very first thing that you want to do in a school shooting is you're going to want to run. And you're going to try to get to a safe place that's out of danger and out of the way of the bullets that are flying at really as fast. So, the second thing you want to do, if you can't run, you're going to have to hide. So you're going to have to find a place to hide, and just you should make sure you have an exit. So just in case that guy, the guy that's shooting up the place, finds you, uh, you have you have you have an exit plan. You can go out of there just in case. Find another place to hide. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and if you can't run, hide, or fight, or <laughs> run or hide. You're going to have to use your last resort, and that is to fight. Now, if you know Taekwondo like me, you're pretty cool, but uh, you're going to want to, you're going to want to try to find a weapon. Any weapon will do, just like a blunt object, more preferably, because you can hit them really hard and it goes down and you can run away. Uh, and you can also get a disarming easier. But yeah, that's what to do in case of a school shooting, and you want to stay safe. How would you do the next one, buddy? Okay, how to identify the problem. I totally forgot to uncapitalize Merrick's work. Yeah, if the person that might show up to school has access to firearms and is not in the right of the state of mind, they might shoot you. This could be a way to identify a problem which you should contact authorities immediately. Yes. Yup, and... And now on to Merrick. Yep, yeah, now on to me. Alright, now the importance of school shootings. Or wait. Uh, the importance... <laughs> The importance of stopping school shootings. It's important because your lives are at risk and nobody wants to die. Uh, and again, it, uh, it, having this presentation, it can have you react faster and in a better mindset than you would if you were not prepared and you're just blindly going through. Like, like it's like kind of like we have these fire groups. We have them pretty frequently because fires are pretty frequent, you know, and uh, especially in Kodiak. So uh, you don't, so you don't make bad decisions. You might get yourself killed, you know. And it can help prevent further school shootings. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this next slide for fun. Okay. All right. Now 
our first solution for school shootings are, uh, it's an AI tech. It's really, really cool because it senses, like, it sees the guns on open security cameras. Which, uh, yeah, it has its down, it has its uh, down thingies, uh, but <laughs> thingy. It, ha it has its downsides, but usually school shooters aren't very smart because, you know, they're shooting up a school. Uh, but, you know, people have already tried to put this stuff into use. Because, like, in Florida, the school's, like, already implemented the technology and it can identify when there's a gun. And uh, it, it, can, it warns the police that there's a person about to shoot up the school. And it, it when it, it, yeah... It can stop it early on before anybody gets hurt. So that's really good. It can help stop it early on. It can help stop it early on, but it won't. It's not guaranteed. You know, but. Okay, for the next solution would be more security because you know more men helps. Uh, one problem is that there's not enough security or well-trained security. Um, because some security just aren't trained for a school shooting, and so they kind of just run or hide instead of helping protect other students, like their job is mostly meant for. I totally didn't spell one word wrong, but like, yeah. I spelled one word wrong. The more security, the less likely for a school shooter to barge in um, to the school because it's more armed and they'll probably get taken down way quicker. Now, next slide. our next slide, it's uh, solution number three, which is better and more therapy. Now, therapy, it helps people, it's kind of like a chill pill, you know? So it'll help people like that, are, that have like a bad family or you know, they're having problems. So they can talk it out to someone and they can have another idea, they have another judgment on what to do about that. So instead of doing like a drastic measure and like shooting up a place, they can get help and will decide against that. Because we all know people can do a lot of weird things bad things in the heat of the moment, you know? <laughs> so, we can get up more therapy and better. I've gone to therapy, it kind of sucks. Uh, now, the people or persons that are bullying them go to school with a gun instead of talking to an adult who can help them. That's a big cause of school shootings. And that's why we need better and more therapy. Oh my. Uh, now we have the bibliography. Bibliography. Uh, yeah. Uh, and this is the end of the slide. Yeah, it's the end of the slide. Thank you. I was meant.